This is the legend of Queen Morimi. Once upon a time, in the land of Ilefe, there ruled a king called Oromio. The king had a very beautiful wife, whose name was Morimi. Morimi was not just beautiful, she was also wise and courageous. The people of Ilaife were creative and hardworking. They were famous for making sculptures and different artworks. One fateful day, some weird looking creatures attacked the people while they were buying and selling in the marketplace. When the king heard about what happened, he decided to ask the oracle for a solution. It was a big surprise to the king when the priest told him that according to the oracle, the problem could only be solved by a woman. Seeing how troubled a husband was, Marimi decided to ask for help from the spirit of the Eshimere River. She promised that if the spirits could help her put a stop to the attacks, she would offer anything in return. Morimi was instructed by the spirit to go to the market on a particular day and that she should not run away when the enemy attacks. On that fateful day, the weird looking beings stung the market and the people started to run for their lives. Morimi refused to run away and was captured by the strange beings as predicted by the goddess. Yeah! On getting to their town, the warriors presented Morimi to their king as part of the spoils of war. The king of Uboland, on seeing Morimi, fell in love with her and decided to make her one of his wives. She lived in Uboland for many years and the king became very fond of her. One day, Morimi noticed that the king was in a very good mood. She decided to use this opportunity to convince the king to reveal the secret behind the mysterious beings that attacked Ileife. Without hesitation, the king told Morimi that they were mere humans who only covered themselves with raffia leaves. Hmm, so this is the secret said Morimi. Immediately, she began to plan how to escape to Ilaife. One day, an opportunity came and she sneaked out of Uboland. When she got back to Ilaife, the people received her with joy. The whole town rejoiced as they had thought she was no longer alive. On the other hand, the king of Uboland was so furious that Morimi had betrayed him. He summoned his warriors to attack Ilaife immediately. Morimi told her husband Oromio that the enemies are not spirit but humans wearing masks and clothed in raffia palms. With this knowledge, the warriors prepared to combat the Ugbo warriors. When the warriors of Uboland arrived in Ilaife, they met the people with torches of fire. Terrified, they all turned back and ran for their dear lives. After that battle, Peace reigned once again in Ilaife. But this peace came at a very high price. Morimi had to give up her only son in fulfillment of a vow to the spirit of Ashimira River. Today, a 42-feet statue of Morimi stands in Ilaife 
to honor of bravery and sacrifice for the people of Yoruba land. <laughs>